you. We are also tracking this new storm system moving across the country again. Rescues already from this, and it could hit some of the very same states already dealing with the devastation from those tornadoes. Tonight, the death toll, at least 88 Americans dead across five states, and in Kentucky alone, at least 74 dead, including at least 12 children. ABC's Elwin Lopez from Kentucky tonight. Tonight, with more than 100 people still missing, the search and rescue effort underway in Kentucky. This team in hard hit Dawson Springs. Of the more than 70 confirmed dead in the state, 12 are children. Oakland Coon was just two months old, her parents taking her off life support. I won't miss her crying in the middle of the night, waking me up. I'm going to miss her, you know, not wanting to be put down, wanting her daddy and mommy to hold her. At that candle factory in Mayfield, eight people confirmed dead. The company says everyone is now accounted for. The company calling a report that an employee was threatened with consequences if they left the facility, quote, absolutely false. The governor was asked about it today. I haven't seen any direct accounts um, from the candle factory itself. That's something that obviously people are going to look at. One employee telling ABC News she was not threatened, but told staying might be safer than leaving. Hundreds of people were injured in the tornadoes, many of them children. Hospital workers Debbie Hammontree and Lisa Pyle on duty when four brothers came in with cuts and broken bones, all under 10 years old. You can still hear their, their cries, their screams when you're you know, taking care of them. I just rocked him. I'm, I, that's all I know to do. I'm a mother, so I, I gravitate towards those babies. Their father, Charles Cook, says two of the boys set out to find help after the family was thrown into a field more than 100 yards away. Your children saved your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And David and we'll be here in Kentucky tomorrow to get a first-hand look at the damage here. And the White House says to ensure that the federal government is doing everything to get assistance to impacted areas like this one as quickly as possible. David. All right, Elwin Lopez staying on the scene there for us.